Hey Diane, this is Stephen from CP Auto here in Calgary. And this right here is our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee Altitude. First things first, I want to thank you for your interest in seeing it. This is a very nice Grand Cherokee finished in granite crystal metallic. It's got a nice metallic flake in it. This is an altitude package, which means you get a um, you get all the chrome accents blacked out. That includes the badging, the wheels, the grill, the lower lower uh, front fascia, and uh, fog lights around as well. What I'll do in this video, I'll give you a brief walk around tour. We'll go over some key features and uh, hopefully you like it. So let's get started up front. You have projector headlamps, fog lights down below, and you have recovery hooks along the front bumper. You get the seven slat grill, seven slats, which represent the seven continents of the world. A little known fact. Around the sides, you get 20 inch gloss black wheels wrapped in all season rubber. Side mirrors are auto dimming. They are heated and you have blind spot monitoring as well. Door handle, at least for two front doors. They have keyless proximity entry, a system that allows you to keep your key in your pocket at all times, especially when you combine the fact that this has a push button start. You simply press this to lock the car or put your hand in there to unlock the car. We'll get back to the interior in a moment. So the Grand Cherokee is the most awarded SUV of all time. And that's due in fact to uh, I think uh, user friendliness, perfect size, and 4x4 capability. So, this has uh, select terrain 4x4, and I'll show you what that means in a moment when, once we get into the interior. Now, out back, black 4x4 badge, black Jeep badge, backup camera right there, parking sensors along the rear bumper, and then power tailgates. That can also be done on the key fob and you also have remote start as well. Now back here, you have a Jeep branded cargo mat, Alpine subwoofer, 12 volt DC plug, grocery hooks, one, two, three, four, little pocket right there. Uh, a button that is located right here to close the lift gate, which I think is a brilliant idea. A lot of SUVs have it up here, which can be a bit of a stretch for a lot of people. It's nice to have it right there, but it's hard to get used to sometimes because <laughs> my vehicle has it up on in this location. And uh, yeah, I'm always reaching for there whenever I get into a Grand Cherokee. Anyway, uh, I have tie downs and then below the floor, something else I really enjoy. You have a full size spare tire with your jack as well. 60-40 split second row bench, okay. They also recline, as you can see right now. This side is reclined quite a bit. That one can do the same, but right now it's a little bit more upright. Um, let's take a look at the interior. Hmm. Oops. There we go. All right. So down below, you have all weather mats. The seats on this are going to be perforated suede with leather outboards. You have a center armrest with cup holders. The center console is gonna have AC vents. And down below, you have a three-prong household plug, which comes in handy. Now up front, you have power-operated uh, uh, seats or driver's seat with power lumbar supports, power mirrors, door locks, and mirrors, as you would expect. The odometer at time of this video is 23,465 kilometers, kilometers. Um, and it's a very nice interior. So leather wrapped steering wheel, it is also heated. You have controls for the digital display in the center, which can display all sorts of things from digital speedometer, your tire pressure, auxiliary temperature gauges, fuel economy, of course, trip computers, your audio, whatever you're listening to at the moment, and a whole whack of other information. So that's great. To the right of that, you also have another screen. This is an 8.4 inch uh, infotainment screen. It's a touch screen. Uh, it's running what's called Uconnect 4C, which is a very user-friendly, in fact, award-winning software, uh, award-winning for its uh, intuitiveness. It's very easy to set up your phone. It's very easy to navigate. It's fast, there's no lag, um, and I think, this is the best iteration of Uconnect. 
Anywho, you have Sirius XM Radio, you have Apple CarPlay, you have Android Auto, you have Factory Navigation. You have a button right there for your backup camera. That backup camera has guidance lines that turn with the steering wheel to help guide you into a parking spot. Um, you have controls for your heated front seats, your heated steering wheel as well. You have controls for your climate control, which I really love. I really love Jeep's approach to this. You have digital controls here, physical controls here. So whatever inter interface you prefer to use, for instance, like that, I can do it like that. I can slide my finger. I can slide my fingers like that, or I can hit the buttons. Whatever you're comfortable with, I think that's that's a that's a great approach. Um, now, physical volume knob, physical tuning knob, a button to turn off the screen if it bothers you. Just touch the screen again to wake it up. Uh, dual zone climate control, parking sensors that are defeatable, auto stop and start system, which is defeatable. You have an eco mode, a sport mode, and of course your traction control. Below there, you have a storage compartment with two USB A's, auxiliary, and a 12 volt DC plug. Behind there, two cup holders, your transmission uh, shifter. So this runs an eight speed automatic connected to a 3.6 liter V6. And of course, like I mentioned, four by four. That moves me on, that, that uh, leads me on to my next thing. So this has select terrain, which is this knob right here. So you have different modes for the all wheel drive system or four x four system. You have automatic mode, kind of a set and forget it. It will do its own thing. It's smart. It will uh, throw power front and back as it needs to um, based on conditions and, you know, steering angle, uh, temperature outside, um, how fast you're driving, etc. But you can also lock it into sand mode, snow mode, mud mode and rock mode. Uh, something else that's neat about the Grand Cherokee is that you can also flat tow it behind an RV with that pin button right there. So it'll disengage the drive line. Um, to the left of that, you have four wheel drive low and then hill descent control, a system that allows you to maintain control if you're going down a slippery slope. Um, getting back to this area, steering wheel, uh, you have the buttons of course to control the center screen. And then here you have your buttons to control the cruise control. Automatic lights, fog lamps as well dimmer switch right there or scroll wheel I should say uh, push button starts as you would expect glove box there wheel lock key and four extra lug nuts auto dimming rear view mirror with hard buttons for SOS so 911 and then uh, roadside assistance as well uh, in, in the case that the airbags pop it will automatically call 911 for you. Sunglass holder here, home link garage door opener right there. And of course, that's a button to open or close your rear lift gate. Dome lights. Yeah. Anyway, I think that pretty much sums it up. Please let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Take care.